Hello friends and welcome to Art with Miss P. This week's lesson is a ladybug and it's going to be based on the book by Eric Carle, The Grouchy Ladybug. I uploaded a link to this read aloud book and I also uploaded a link to a video about fun facts with ladybugs. I hope you had a chance to listen to the story, The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle, and I hope you had a chance to watch the video on fun facts about ladybugs before doing this project. All right, in the past, in kindergarten, you did a big ladybug on a leaf. Well, this time, we're gonna learn how to draw a ladybug based on the cover of Eric Carle's book, The Grouchy Ladybug. And the ladybug is gonna be facing you. So we're gonna see a ladybug's head, the two wings, and the six legs. And then you're gonna have something in the background. And I want you to have fun with the flowers and the grass and the things in the background. Remember, Eric Carl was a collage artist and would cut paper out in different uh, sizes and shapes and glue them down. If we were in the classroom with normal classes, this would be a collage for you where we would be cutting apart uh, construction paper and tissue paper. But since we're doing learning from home, we're just gonna use whatever you have at home to color your ladybug. I did an oil pastel resist for this example. So I colored my ladybug, my little fun grasses back here, this little fun flower back here, and I put some yellow swirls in the sky with my oil pastels. And then I used watercolor paint for the sky and watercolor paint down here for the grass. So I did an oil pastel resist. You can do that or you can color yours with whatever you have at home. All right, so let's get your white piece of paper, your pencil, your eraser, and a Sharpie if you have a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, don't worry about it. Um, you can use something else to outline with if you want to, or you don't even have to outline. But if you wanna outline yours, uh, use a Sharpie. I did outline mine with a Sharpie in this example, but you don't have to. It will be your choice. All right, we wanna turn our paper vertical, the tall way, the long way to do this project. All right, first thing we're gonna do is our horizon line. So going across the middle of your paper like this, go ahead and draw a horizontal line going across the middle for your horizon line. All right, ladybugs are round. So um, our circle is gonna be right here and it's gonna go above and below this horizon line. So I want you to draw a circle and kind of draw big. You don't want it too small. The smaller you draw, the harder it's gonna be for you. And then right here, you're gonna draw a smaller circle and it's going to overlap right here. So we've got some overlapping. So we're gonna have to erase this line right here and erase this line right here. So after you get your two circles drawn, erase this line that goes through the middle of your, your big circle and erase this line right here that goes through the middle of your smaller circle. All right, so this big circle is going to be the body and this is going to be your head. And then we're gonna have six legs, three on each side coming out. All right, so we're gonna draw our wings first. All right, you got two choices. You can draw your wings where they're split, like the ladybug has just landed and she's just folding her wings in, or she's getting ready to take off and she's spreading her wings to take off. You can draw them split like this, or you can leave it together. All right, if you draw it split like this, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come straight down the middle of your circle, but not go to the edge. You'll come down and then you'll split it off like this, kind of like a capital Y. If you don't want your ladybug wings to be, um, to separate, then you'll just draw a straight line like this right here, going right down the middle. All right, I'm gonna split mine just because I think it makes it more interesting. So I'm gonna draw my line up to right here and then I'm gonna split it off this way, split it off this way, and then you will need to erase this line right here so it looks like your two wings split. So there's our left and our right wing. All right, coming back down to the head right here, we're gonna have uh, two antennas that come off of our ladybug. And I'm gonna let you decide what uh, 
type of antenna you want to put. I'm going to put two parallel lines with a circle on the end, but you can also do lines that come around like this right here and kind of spiral inward. I will leave it up to you what kind of antennas you want to do, but you need two. Um, we got a little bit of overlapping right here, so we're going to erase that line inside of our antenna. I'm going to put a little line right here. This is where the antenna meets the head. Right now, we're going to put our eyes on. So, two eyes. And I'm going to have um, our two eyes right here. If you want to give your you know, eyelashes, you can. Completely, totally up to you. And then just have fun with the mouth. Um, you know, it can be a mouth like that. That's totally fine. You can do a... Um, a mouth like this where you give your ladybug some cheeks and connect it like that. Or you can do a mouth like this where you actually give your ladybug some lips. Again, your choice guys. Just have fun with your ladybug eyes and your ladybug mouth. I'm going to leave mine like this for the example. All right, now we've got six legs, three on each side. All right, our ladybug is sitting on the ground, so we want our leg to come out and come down and then have a little foot so it looks like our ladybug is sitting up off the ground. The way to do that is we're going to come out, down, and out. And then we're going to have a parallel line right beside it. And then these two just kind of meet like that. And we do the same thing over here. Out, down, and out. Out, down, and out. And I drew that one a little bit too long, so I'm going to shorten that leg. And you know what? My legs aren't the same size. So you need to make sure that your legs on each side is the same thing. So I need to make this come down a little bit more and come out. All right, that's why I'm doing one on each side. Then I'm gonna come back up here, same thing. And there's that leg, out, down, and out, parallel line beside it. And then we've got one back here. And these back here in the back get a little bit smaller because as they go back, they get smaller. All right, so there's our six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now let's get the uh, spots on our ladybug. And if you watched the video, you know that the spots on a ladybug, the number is determined by what kind of ladybug it is. So I'm just gonna draw some spots to kind of fill in my space on my ladybug. So there we go. So now I've got the spots on my ladybug. All right, back here, you choose what you want to put back here in the background. I'm going to put a flower back here. And, I sh well, let, first of all, let's put some grass. I'm going to put some grass back here. And, uh, and then maybe over here I'll have a flower. And I'm just going to have fun and just kind of draw what we call stylized flowers. That means they look like flowers, but we know that they're not necessarily real flowers because Eric Carle was all about cutting paper apart and um, making things not look exactly realistic, which is fine. I'm going to have a blade of grass, and I'm going to have this blade of grass bend down like this so it looks like it's folding over like that. And then there's the rest of that grass. And of course, you can have fun with the grass. I did a one that kind of swirled around and just had some good time with it. I had fun with this flower right here. If you want to come back here and put some swirls in your, your paper, you can. Or you can put a sun. You can do whatever you want to do in the background. All right, if you watch the video on the fun facts of ladybugs, you learned that ladybugs are red, orange, yellow, pink, black, gray, brown. So let's not choose black, gray, or brown for the color of our ladybug. We want to have some color. So let's choose red, orange, yellow, or pink. And of course, the most popular color of a ladybug is red. And then you can choose orange or yellow or pink. Now on this ladybug, I chose kind of a yellow-orange. And then I had fun with the face because I have these cool oil pastels and I really wanted to use that color. I've got like 28 colors in here. And I really like this color right here, which is what I did for the face. It turned out okay, but I think if I were to redo it, I would do it a different color. I happen to have some metallic oil pastels, which is what I used right here for the, um, for the antenna. So they kind of look almost silvery. 
And then I just had fun back here with this, um, with this flower. I did outline everything in Sharpie, and then I colored with my oil pastels, but I just had fun doing a, a white resist right here with some black dots and just fun with the flower and then yellow swirls. So you decide what you wanna color your ladybug, color pencils, crayons, markers, oil pastels, crayon resist, watercolor, whatever. The choice is yours. You don't have to outline in Sharpie unless you want to. I did outline mine in Sharpie, but again, the choice is yours. So that is your project for this week. So over how you choose to color off your uh, ladybug is completely up to you. So I look forward to seeing what colors you choose for your ladybug and look forward to seeing your artwork. So until next time, friends, peace, love, and sparkles from Miss P.